Landlord, what sort of chap is he, as he always keeps such late hours? No, generally he's an early bird. Early to bed and early to rise, yes, he's the bird that catches the worm. But tonight he went out a peddling, you see, and I don't see what on earth keeps him so late unless, maybe, he cannot sell his head. Can't sell his head? What sort of a bamboozling story is that you're telling me? Do you pretend to say, landlord, that this harpooner is actually engaged this blessed Saturday night in peddling his head around town? That's precisely it. <laughs> and I told him he couldn't sell it here. The market's overstocked. With what? With heads, to be sure. Ain't there too many heads in the world? I'll tell you what it is, landlord. You'd better stop spinning that yarn to me. I am not green. Maybe not, but I rather guess you'd be done brown if that your harpooner hears you are slandering his head. I'll break it for him, landlord. It's broke already. Broke? Broke, do you mean? Certain. And that's the very reason he can sell it, I guess. Landlord, landlord, stop whittling. I now demand of you to speak out and tell me who and what this harpooner is and whether I shall be in all respects safe to spend the night with him. And in the very first place you will be so good to unsay the story about him selling his head, which, if true, I take it to be good evidence that this harpooner is stark mad, and I've no idea of sleeping with a madman. And you, sir, you, I mean landlord, you, sir, by trying to induce me to do so knowingly, would thereby render yourself liable to a criminal persecution. Well... <sighs> That's a very long sermon for a chap that rips a little now and then. The pen upon it, landlord. That harpooner is a dangerous man. He pays regular. But come, it's getting dreadful late. You could better be running flukes. Come along here, I'll give you a glim in a jiffy. Come along then, do come. Won't you come?